Welcome back, Austin. We have had an amazing show today, right, ladies? Finally, this morning, we have two very dynamic guests to introduce. So please join us in welcoming entrepreneur and owner of Austin's very own amazing Silverio House Weddings, Arlene Ramirez, and her wedding planner extraordinaire, who is also amazing, my baby girl, Jerrica Holweger. Thank you for joining Hi. us today, ladies. We are so pleased and we're very excited to have you with us today. Thank you for having us. We're so excited. <laughs> we're ready to talk all things wedding. We are so happy to have you here. You guys look so pretty. Thank you. The Silverio House does so much more than just wedding planning. Please share with us all the wonderful services you provide to eliminate the stress of wedding planning. Yes, so Silverio House Weddings, we're a full service wedding planning company. We do planning, design, photo and film. So we like to say we're your one stop shop and we can kind of take care of all of the wedding needs that you have. So at what point should a couple hire their wedding planner? I find that many people hire after finding a venue. We believe you should hire your wedding planner first. A lot of people do book their venue first, which sometimes is a little bit backwards. The reasoning is budget. A lot of couples are on a fixed budget and we're finding lately that if you book your venue first, that sometimes blows your budget. That makes sense. That does make a lot of sense because venues can be very expensive. But um, what I've learned from the two of you is that you can hire a wedding planner and she can budget or he, you know, uh, they can budget everything all in, you know, in, within your budget. So tell us, ladies, what are some of the differences between a venue uh, wedding coordinator and a wedding planner? Yes. So we get this question a lot. I think when couples, again, go and book their venue first, they see that they have a venue coordinator. And so to them, they think, oh, I have a wedding planner already built in, which is not necessarily true. Typically, your wedding venue coordinator handles everything that has to do with the venue. So they're really handling the day of your wedding. They're making sure that the lights are on, that the AC is working properly and anything that's included within your venue, they make sure that that happens. So they don't necessarily handle the outside details that wedding planners like us handle. So, you know, again, budget is such a huge part of the wedding planning process. And so when you hire a wedding planner, we're able to help you, you know, stay within your budget and allocate the amount, you know, the proper budgets where they need to go and things like that. You know, we handle the execution, the logistics, you know, we do all the floor plans, all of that. So that's why we really encourage um, couples to hire wedding planners. And we know that, it, you know, comes with a lot of opinions and things like that. So I think we like to make sure that, you know, we give the couple a smooth and enjoyable process. So I think knowing what the difference between having a venue coordinator and a wedding planner is super important. We're there to advocate for the couple. That's what we do. We are on your side. We're there to make sure that everything that you're doing is in your benefit. Because a lot of times they don't even read their contracts, you know, for their venues or whatever. So then that's whenever they find out, oh, this isn't included in my venue. And now they're having to, you know, bring in something else that they weren't expecting to. So what are some fun trends we can expect to see for the remainder of 2023 and for this upcoming year? Yes. So one of our favorites, we are linen girls. So we love textured linens and velvet is making a comeback. So we're okay. seeing, you know, velvet linens for the tables or napkins, you know, just any way to kind of add texture to your wedding, I think is very mm -hmm. um, something we're seeing a lot more. And also surprisingly, we're seeing a lot more of a minimalistic style of weddings, you know, kind of more of um, lighter on the florals. And also we're seeing in florals, we're seeing um, more of the like whimsical natural floral arrangements, which kind of is strays away from the typical, you know, more formed um, centerpieces that are a little bit tighter. So we're really loving all of the kind of natural whimsical styles that are coming for 2023 and 2024. Wow, that is so exciting. It's so crazy how the trends change so, 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 so fast. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Especially with TikTok and Instagram, you know, there's always new trends popping up. So we really try to stay on top of it. And then we just love whenever our couples come to us, too, and say, hey, I want to do this unique thing. We actually have a couple later this year that's having a Friday the 13th wedding. Oh, so we're they're, so excited. Yeah, We've never done one. So we're, we're excited. We're and they're excited full force leaning into it. And so we're actually building out a campsite for their wedding because they want to do oh. kind of like a 
Jason Friday the 13th ah. type of interactive <laughs> piece to it. So it's really great when we get to uh, work with couples that want to think a little bit outside the box and just try exactly. something new. So you mentioned contracts. Um, how can people work with you and what size budget do they need to have? Because again, you know, y'all both sound so knowledgeable. So that could be a little intimidating as well when it comes to budgeting. Right. Well, we work with all budgets, Wendy. Um, no budget is too small. No budget's too large. We love large budgets, but we work with people of all different styles, all different budgets. Most of our couples do come with a fixed budget. So that's, again, going back to the budgeting. We make sure that you're um, within our, you know, in your budget. And we also offer free consultations. Yeah. And also to that, um, we, even though we offer full service planning, we also do partial planning yeah. and day of coordinating. So we're really able to, again, meet those budget needs. So if a couple can't afford to have a full service planner, yeah. but they still really want the help and, you know, be able to, again, be present on their wedding day, then they can just hire us to do their day of coordinating. And really for us, it's not just the day of, it's about a month before we still get with the couple and, you know, get in touch with all their vendors, look over their contracts and, Again, just make sure that they're getting everything that they paid for. So we really try, again, to work with budgets of all size. So I think it just depends. Um, there's not really a size budget that you necessarily nope. need to have. Um, it just kind of depends on your vision and your dream of your wedding. And then, you know, again, in our free consultation, then we can kind of give you an expectation of what your budget might need yes. to be based on what you've told us about what you would like from your wedding. Thank you so much, Arlene and Jerrica, for your time. Please let us know the best and easiest way to contact you. And we love, love, love having you. Thank you. Um, you can find us on our website, silveriohouse.com, or on social media, Silverio House Weddings. We are on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram, of course. You both are so incredible. And just as Alexander mentioned, your energy, you know, that's the kind of energy I know I would want when planning my wedding. So I really do hope that some of our guests and our viewers reach out to you and work with you. And thank you ladies for another amazing thought provoking show. I'm so glad to have you ladies back and thank you to all of our special guests for being with us today. And if you are ready to feature your own brand and business, head over to our website to get registered today at theconnectonline.com. We'll see you next week on the Connect Network, Texas.